Welcome back. Time to do a servo connector. Uh, what we're going to do, I'm just going to make a uh, just an extension, a servo extension, so I can show you both a female end and a male end. Being able to do your own servo connectors uh, really can save a lot of money because you can make customized extensions. You know, you can replace the plugs, the servo plugs, on battery packs, on servos, whatever. Uh, uses this type of plug. Of course, it's a very common plug in the hobby. There's different types of servo wire. Uh, there's twisted stuff. There's the ribbon type. I generally use the ribbon. This is the smaller gauge. I think this is 24 gauge and I believe this is 22. Um, you know, for uh, if you're doing like uh, harnesses for, you know, the main harness that feeds the receiver or the fly barless system, it's going to be carrying more current, you, you know, you'd use the heavier wire, but for low current stuff, I just use the, the smaller stuff. So let's just make an extension here. I don't know how long we should make it. Let's just make a foot or so. Um, so to do these, you just uh, pull the wiring apart, a little ribbon wiring, something like that, maybe pull... Uh, I don't know, what is that? Maybe a centimeter, three quarters of an inch. Okay. And there's two types of plugs, but we'll actually be using both. For each crimp, we'll be do using the male. And the female, all it is, is it uses the pin, the pins that are in a male plug, and then they're put into the female housing. But I'll show you that. But we'll do the, uh, we'll do the male pins first. So you just take them off these little terminal strips, just bend them off. And like I showed with the JST um, connector video, uh, when you strip the wire, you want basically, you know, two to three millimeters of stripped wire that is going to be crimped by the center section when you crimp it. And then this outer section is actually what wraps around the insulation of the wire and holds it. And just like in that JST video, I'm just using this cheapy hobby type crimper. It's got the two sizes, one for the JST RCY pins and the smaller one for the all your servo pins. And I link to this uh, a tool like this on my uh, RC connector page. So anyways, let's uh, strip these real quick. Just fast forward through this. And I like twisting the wires just so they don't fray as I'm putting them into the little crimp pin. So that's kind of what uh, we're after. And you always hold it this way. So you want, you know, the black facing you, or at least that's the way I'm doing it uh, when you're making the crimp. So you don't want it upside down like this. You want it this way. Hopefully that's showing up. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Hopefully, this might show. I just hope it doesn't go out of focus. So, just like the JST ones, you just put the pin in like so. And these ratchet. Go to the first ratchet so it holds the pin. And we're going to be doing the black one here first. So we'll get the red and the white out of the way. Do the black. Slide it in. And look through the other end just to make sure you've got the wire in the right position lined up with those center crimps. And I do it twice. And there's what you're after. Okay, you've got the outside crimp is holding the insulation. The inside one is what's crushing all the little wire strands and making contact. I'm just going to fast forward through these two other ones. In fact, you probably don't even, well, I'll do one more and then uh, won't even look at the, uh, won't even watch the white one just to save on one time here. So again, get the white and the black one out of the way now. So you've got the red to work with. Slide it into the crimp pin, look through the back side so your, you know, the wire is in the right position. Crimp it, pull all the way down on the crimper. And I just move it a little bit more. That's the one problem with this. 
Now this isn't the best quality crimp tool. It's a little bit too narrow. That's why I, I do it twice. The first time I do it, I'm doing the back one and about maybe half or three quarters of the center one and then I just move it back a little way so I can get the rest of the center one. So, you know, better crimp tools that are a little bit, that have wider jaws, probably wouldn't have to do that with. So there's our red one. Okay, so I just got the white one done as well. Now it's really simple, you just get your servo plug, you hold it so so you don't have it that way, you have it this way. Those little catches, these are just little plastic catches that catch the pins. And you just put them all in. It's generally easiest. Put them all in at once. Again, black will be on the bottom here. White's on the top, red's always in the center. And you hear them click, and then just pull to make sure they don't come out. So, there's our male end done. Now we'll do the female end. I'll just pause it while I get the wires stripped and pulled apart. Okay, so just like the uh, female end, just strip them. About three uh, millimeters of wire exposed. Now we'll get the pin type the connectors. Let's take them off the strip. And again, same idea, um, have the black at the bottom, we're facing you with all of these facing upright. You know, you could twist the wire if you didn't do that, but uh, just find this easier. Just hold it in the ratchet tool, get the red and the white out of the way, so we've just got the black to worry about. Slide it through the pin in the crimp tool. Look at the back side, just make sure that wire is in the right position. And again, hopefully you can see that. Hopefully it's focusing. So, you want the outside of the crimp grabbing the insulation, inside one making good uh, contact and crushing all the strands of wire. I'm just going to pause it while I do the black or the red and the white one. Okay, so we've got all those ones done. Now, same idea. Slide them into the uh, slide them into a male servo plug. And those little all those little plastic catches will catch on to the pins. Just pull on them. Even do one at a time if you really want to make sure. But that's what we've got now. And then this will just slide into this female connector housing. Now on the female connector housing, I don't, hopefully we can see inside this thing. Just line it up right on the top here. You can see there's that little catch inside. That is going to catch on this edge of the plug. So you look in the back, make sure that notch is on the top, inside, and then we slide this in. You'll hear it snap, and then there's our female end done. Simple. So hopefully that was interesting and helped you out if you want to make your own.